Good morning, beautiful people. What is up? I am gonna start vlogging every day while I'm doing this safe at home bullshit. Um, not bullshit because uh, coronavirus isn't uh, crazy, but bullshit because it sucks. I mean, I feel like we're all feeling that. Um, but I just finished my first couch to 5K app thing. And so I ran and walked for 30 minutes. Um, and I got outside and saw the beautiful sky and the beautiful sun. So that's exciting. I'm on my way home right now. I'm almost there. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought that I was going to be like really huffing and puffing, but I definitely did okay. <clears throat> I like tried to wear this thing to use, but I didn't like it. <laughs> it's like, it's a little bit too tight for my phone. So it kept like, hey, searing me and interrupting my music. But luckily I'm wearing leggings that have a pocket in them. So I use that instead. But today's plan, I already did my homework for the week for my online class. Well, they're all online classes now, but um, for the one that was originally an online class, I did my homework. I've been watching a lot of, um, what's it called? Like crime shows. So I've been watching Gabriel Fernandez's uh, show on Netflix. Um, so I, I watched an episode of that and then went out to do my, my run. Now I'm almost to my apartment and then I'm going to get ready and I'm gonna film some videos today. Um, and I have a plan to FaceTime with Chelsea from Chelsea Dolly Reads today. So that's kind of the outline of the day. I don't really know how many days of vlogging I'm gonna put into one video yet. Cause I don't know really what to vlog about. I'm still going to work as of right now. I'm not working from home or anything. So the only real biggest change for me with this whole thing has been school. That's like the really rough one. Um, and then like, obviously not being able to go out and do stuff, which is lame. I understand it, but it's lame. So I'm gonna go into my apartment right now. I gotta use my phone to get in because I don't have keys with me. And I'll talk to you guys later, bye. Good morning, happy Sunday. Um, I'm still definitely getting the use, getting used to the whole vlogging. I'm just in the parking lot, so don't think I'm driving like crazy. Um, just getting used to the vlogging everyday thing. I love this color so much. This is MAC uh, Luster. I love it. It's like your lips, but better. Um, yeah, I'm still getting used to the vlogging everyday thing. So I did not vlog much yesterday after I like introduced this. I think I am going to be doing weekly vlogs for right now just because I'm still getting used to it. And also like because I'm still going to work it's not that entertaining, like, my weekday. So, yeah, I'm on my way to work right now. It's 9.30, um, so I'll be working, like, 10 to 6.30-ish. So, today at work, I have a little online support group that I'm running. Um, and I don't really know what else is up for the day, like, as far as the schedule goes. I definitely need to reach out to my kids. That's basically my whole job. Um, haven't been approved to work from home yet. We're still... As of right now, we're not approved and it's going to be reevaluated as of right now weekly. So we'll see what happens. But um, that is the going goings on of working in a mental health facility. I mean, it's healthcare. It's it's not the healthcare that people doing coronavirus work are, but we are doing things that can't just be paused because of the coronavirus. So. There's something going on with my hair right now and I don't know what it is. I like feel it bobbing weird. Yeah, um, the plan for today other than working is I do want to clean my makeup brushes because they're gross and my skin is upset with me. So I think that I pro hopefully will be able to do some skincare like masks tonight and I'll vlog that for you guys. Um, so definitely need to do that. And then I also need to edit a video for tomorrow to go up. Tomorrow I'm just posting some announcement videos on my booktube channel. And it's stuff that you're going to also see, have seen by the time this comes out. It's the fact that I'm going down to only guaranteed one. <coughs> Yikes. It's 
going down to one guaranteed video a week on both channels. It was announcing that my um, podcast is up now, which we have a new episode going up tomorrow when I'm filming this because it goes up every Monday. But yeah, um, basically just an announcement video. That one shouldn't be too hard to edit. So yeah, uh, that's kind of the outline for today. I am going to, when I get off the vlog, I'm going to turn on my NPR and see what, if there's any like 15 minutes of news segment that I want to listen to because I've been very picky with my news lately. Um, just because with everything going on, I've found myself being oversaturated with information and misinformation all about coronavirus, about the election, like it's just too much right now for me like it's on all of my social media so I haven't been finding wanting to uh, also then listen to my normal NPR news um, that's where I get my news from so I'll look on there and see if I want to listen to it but I'm actually listening to an audiobook right now I'm listening to the starless sea by Erin Morgenstern she wrote the uh, night circus by her it's also by Erin Morgenstern because she wrote it, haha. Ha. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm about 30% in, but honestly, I'm considering restarting it because I listened to that 30% last week when I was anxious and not focused. Like, I could not focus on it. But then again, I'm thinking back and I do remember the basic plot points. So I'm going to turn it on, see how I feel. I might start that over. And yeah, that's the day for today. So I'm going to get off of this and drive to work and I'll talk to you guys when I have an update for you. Happy Sunday. This it's all gonna get put away. That's what's next, let's go. about my love for yoga I definitely enjoy it and I think it's a really cool workout practice so that's awesome um, it is like do you see the sky in the background like it's cloudy it looks a little stormy still but it's also just so bright blue and I'm loving it um, yeah so I'm going into work that's still a thing that I have to do. Uh, mental health stops for no one. <laughs> and I'm going to be off at about 6 tonight. So I'm going to... What do I have to do tonight? I need to do some editing for that video that I was just talking about. And I need to do some online homework. I want to try to find some videos to interpret and film myself doing it. Because I want to basically practice and I want to have like um, a peer kind of give me feedback, stuff like that, because since we're not going to class, um, we really don't have a lot of time spent practicing unless we actively choose to do it. So I am having to learn to not take this time that I have off of school. Yes, I have more time because my other class, that's a lecture class, 
it's just reading now. Um, so that's not a huge deal. And obviously I'm not commuting to school anymore. So I do have extra time on my hands, but I want to try to prioritize making sure that I practice still because I'm obviously not going into the classroom to do that. So I am, for those of you who don't know, finishing my last semester ever of interpreting. I will graduate in June, in theory at least, um, with a certificate in American Sign Language Interpreting and I will be able to work as an interpreter, assuming that the world doesn't fall apart by June. So that is why I want to make sure that I'm doing this because this is it. This is the end of the, the practice. This is the end of the learning. Obviously you're still gonna learn even after that, but like this is my this is my time to really take it all in. So I wanna make sure that I'm doing that. So I am going to do those two things. I'm gonna film two interpreting videos, one for listening to somebody speak and me signing and one for the other way around. Um, I'm going to do that tonight. I'm going to edit the video and then I'm hoping to get some time to read. We just, uh, shall see. I don't know. I am definitely like trying to stay motivated on this. Um, I haven't yet taken the time to start outlining the book that I'm hoping to write. But as, as I get this week, I'm really taking the, last week I took the time to be stressed out about the fact that my school went online and I didn't really do a lot in regards to school and stuff. I just wanted, I was in my feelings. So this week I'm really trying to establish the new schedule, the new outline for what my week looks like in regards to school and practice and then next week with the extra time that I do have from not commuting to school and not being in class for the other class that I'm taking that is where I will find some time to try to start working on this novel that I've had in my head for so long um, I am really excited to take some time to do it I am also really nervous because it's like one of those things that I've always wanted to do I've always wanted to write but I am afraid to fail with me failing, which is why I never do any of that. So it's great. Also, you're gonna see lots of headstands this week because I am trying to, with my extra time, also do obviously yoga and stuff, but um, my friend challenged me to try to get up on a headstand without a wall by the end of this week. So gonna be lots of practice. Okay, with that said, I'm gonna go to class, I'm gonna go to work and uh, I don't know what I'm going to listen to. I can't decide if I want to listen to a podcast or do I want to listen to the audiobook that I'm listening to. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, bye. starting my 30 minute couch to 5k walk and I smell some drugs <laughs> why is this a thing um it's a beautiful day the lovely sun tonight I have my class like I was talking about my first zoom class for interpreting so I'm just trying to get this done and let's go Today was what I would call a success. I 
managed to finish editing both of the videos that I need to go up for the rest of this week. Tomorrow, I'll have my TBR jar video go up. It is 9 o'clock in the morning and I'm on my way to work and I'm wearing a headband and I don't know how to feel about it. So, that's a thing. Um, yeah, I really need to put lipstick on, dude. Sorry for the lack of lipstick. It looks kind of weird. Also, my hair does this thing. It's really great where it like all curves this way. And I swear it's because of how I sleep. Like, I think it's because of how I sleep. Um, yeah, so I woke up this morning, did some yoga, as you saw, I managed to do a headstand again, um, without falling, yay! The yoga set that I did today, the practice, was very, um, shoulder focused and ab focused, and those are, like, all of the muscles that you use when you're doing a headstand, so I think my body was just like, mm, no, I'm done with you, so... That was really exciting. And then um, I also, I went to make a smoothie this morning, but I can't find the magic bullet part that you put on to, sh to do the shake. Uh, I can't find it, which is probably because my brother-in-law moved in with us in case you didn't know that. So David moved in and um, he's been really, really awesome at like putting the dishes away so fast that like I can't even take the time to do it. Um, but I think that he put it in a weird spot that I can't find. So I organized our one cupboard this morning and still couldn't find it. And so now I really want to organize the whole kitchen this weekend. So that's probably going to be a thing. But I wasn't able to make my smoothie, so that was unfortunate. So I'm on my way to work and I haven't eaten yet. And I will eat when I get there, I guess. Or for lunch, I suppose. Um, but that's okay. What else do I need to do today? Um, today's going to be pretty chill. I need to do some homework for my online, for my interpreting class. Um, she gave us, so I had my first Zoom last night. I talked about that a little bit in the last clip, but um, it was really short. She kind of just went over like how the setup of the Zooms are going to go, where we're going to have more of like a discussion item that we're going to have to read about and then discuss on Tuesdays. And so she gave us the topic for next Tuesday and then um, letting us know that Thursdays is still going to be lab based, which means we're going to have Zoom is pretty cool. It, you can um, break out so that the teacher, the host of the meetings can put you in small groups and like have you break out and then bring you back. It's pretty cool. So she's going to have us do that so that we can practice. Um, interpreting which is awesome I do still want to film some interpreting videos for myself and send with one of my um fellow students we're gonna send videos back and forth so I haven't done that yet I ended up not doing that last night so I do need to do that today and read for the class so those are the two focus points I already did my yoga today so that's awesome um and that's what I'll do when I get off of work so yeah the other thing that I wanted to talk about today that was really bugging me when I was putting this head, head, headphones, headband on, is that my skin is so irritated right here and right here. And it's red and itchy and I've always struggled with dandruff, but I've never noticed it look so angry. And so it's like really, I mean, like like dandruff is it's really itchy which I I don't even know what dandruff is so I'm gonna do some research today hopefully and look up like is this normal for my skin to look like this or is this not dandruff is it something else that like needs to be taken care of because it's so irritating like irritating because I've got flakes and irritating because my skin is red but irritating like physically making me want to itch it and then it hurts also and so that's happening and I don't like that so cool 
Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I'm gonna get to work. Happy, weird social distancing time that I can't take part in. this thing I it's called the eraser the makeup eraser and I'm gonna show you guys how it works so this side's dirty already so I don't want to use that side but the other side is still pretty clean actually clean so you just get it wet with whatever kind of water you want I definitely prefer warm water because it's going to go on my face and you just wet it this is about the like amount that I need like as far as distance, and then I just squeeze the water out, and then that's literally it. You don't need any soap or anything. The thing it struggles with the most is the eyeliner. I use it, um, NYX's matte eyeliner, and oh my god, it stays so well in general, but also that means it's kind of hard to take off. And that is it as far as how long and what it takes to wipe off all of that goop that was on my face that's insane right never tried that before um before getting it in my top tip fun fun box which i always unbox on this channel they're great use another product that i got from the fad fit fun box which is the better skin company's lava magic cleanser scrub and mask and this one's a scrub too, so you can cleanse with it instead. But I'm gonna leave it on a little bit. So that's it for now. I'm gonna leave that on for about 10 minutes and then I'll scrub it off. And it is definitely an intense scrub. Um, even just putting it on was like, definitely you can feel it and stuff. So if you have really, really sensitive skin, probably not the best ask for you. As in, like, yeah, if your skin gets irritated easily, probably not a good plan. I'll leave this on for about 10 minutes, scrub it off, and then go to bed. So that's the end of the night. I'm going to finish also with reading Girl Stop Apologizing for at least 10 minutes while I wait for this to dry. And then bedtime. Sunday the 29th of March but I didn't vlog the last couple days um I tend to be really bad at vlogging when I'm home so it was my weekend uh, I did get new glasses which I think I showed you guys but here they are um I actually really struggled with a migraine on my birthday which was Thursday and Friday and I, mean, I think it's because I got new glasses on Thursday and um, I had been wearing a prescription that was like two, two times ago. So it was like a big transition for my eyeballs. I also gave up coffee this last week. So it could have been a, a combination of those two things. Anyway, um, I celebrated my birthday by watching Black Swan, which is one of my favorite movies, but I hadn't seen in a really long time. And for those of you who don't know Matt and me very well, one, we're huge movie watchers, but I really love to rewatch things and watch things that I love over and over again. And he hates it. He does not like rewatching things, especially if no one in the room has never seen it. So oftentimes because he watches movies like nobody's business and he's older than me, so he's had a lot more time to watch movies. He'll try to find a movie that I haven't seen, um, even if he's seen it. But in this case, because it was my birthday and we couldn't do anything, I was like, can I just have control over what movies we watch? So we watched that and then we did start Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, but we didn't finish it because I was too tired. And yeah, so 
it was like a very chill birthday. We didn't really obviously do much because we can't do much right now. Um, but then Friday, okay, so this weekend I also like, I don't know what's going on with me, guys. I ate like shit all week long. And so I think I was feeling guilty, but then I still continued to eat like shit all weekend long because like it's my birthday weekend and I didn't want to care, but I definitely am feeling that like negative self-talk stuff. So I'm trying to get out of it. So I didn't really want to vlog anyway. I had no motivation. I watched Grey's Anatomy all weekend long, Friday and Saturday. Um, I did do some drawings, so that was cool. If you follow me on social media, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I posted my, at least one of them on both. Um, Instagram got both of the drawings. So I did do some drawing on Friday, that was fun. And then yesterday, my dad and stepmom dropped by in order to give me my birthday presents. Um, we stayed six feet apart and we did drink a White Claw in the middle of the parking lot because he also couldn't find a parking spot. But we got to like hang out a little bit and talk even though we couldn't like hug or anything. And so that was nice. Um, he gave me some balloons that are sitting outside on my balcony because my cats tried to eat the string and I'm not into that because then I have to pick up their vomit when they grow it back up. So that's fun. Anyways, that's a little rundown of what you missed this weekend. Sorry that I didn't vlog. I don't feel that bad about it though also. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs. I'm going to continue doing them. Um, I'm going to start a new vlog like right when I get off of this for this week. Just because I feel like it's giving me something to do and like kind of holding me accountable to make sure that I don't just sit on my ass and watch Grey's Anatomy all week long. I mean, obviously I'm still going to work. As you see, I'm in my car. I'm continuing to go to work. My work has not approved me to work from home. There's a lot of stuff going down at my work that I have feelings about and I'm not gonna talk about right now, but yeah, I haven't been approved to work from home. So I am still going into work. I am considered an essential employee because we do work in mental health, which is totally valid. Um, but yeah, so that's the thing. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe, uh, not getting sick. I hope you guys are following protocol and staying in your homes. Um, feel like you can go outside and go on a walk though. Get some sun. If you have a backyard, even better, go sit out there. Um, try to keep your mind busy as in like, like do a Sudoku puzzle or a regular puzzle or a card game or something just to get your mind going because I feel like that is part of the problem of this quarantine is that we're all getting so bored that then we're either not listening to the rules or we're like internalizing it and stuff like that. So try to stay motivated and everything. I know it's hard. I'm definitely struggling, but I'm going to start a new vlog right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I also have a booktube channel that's all about bookish things. LOL, I haven't been reading for the last month. Um, and I also have a podcast that me and Bailey run, my best friend. So you can check all of that out along with my social media down in the description bar. And I will see you guys very soon with a new video.